After Hurricane Irma, we saw these long lines of storm victims applying for D-STEMP benefits. There were 50 sites like this around the state. In August, the News for Jack's I team was the first to tell you about 31 DCF employees statewide who were fired after going through this process but falsifying some of their personal information. Now a DCF spokesperson says a total of 42 employees have been fired as part of their investigation into fraud. The false information could have included things like income, the the number of people in their household, the amount of damage their home sustained, a part-time job, or their identity. 17 of the 42 employees are from the North Florida area, according to DCF. The maximum amount a family could collect through the DSNAP program was a little over $1,100. DCF says when its investigations are complete, they'll hand the results over to the appropriate law enforcement agency. Attorney G. Nichols, who's not associated with this case, says the potential criminal charges will vary. Anyone who is prosecuted who stole less than $200, they will be prosecuted for a, fe uh, for a misdemeanor. Anybody who stole or received anywhere between $200 and $20,000 will be prosecuted for a third-degree felony in the state of Florida. According to multiple sources who contacted the I-Team, some DCF employees got preferential treatment, so they did not have to stand in the long lines and instead were told to come back at the end of the day. A DCF spokesperson says if that happened, it would have been a violation of federal law. But the agency told the I-Team they have no knowledge of it happening. Nickel says he expects DCF to make changes to its processes, and he says they will try to uncover whether a deeper scheme to defraud took place. If we find out that there were individuals who were directing others, now you start to talk about words like conspiracy, and now you have different fraudulent activities which could open up more serious pun punishments for those individuals. That's who the Office of Inspector General is looking for right now. DCF's Public Integrity Unit and the Office of Inspector General are investigating the DSNAP fraud. They say they have zero tolerance for anyone who violates the public trust.